Hey, today we're arranging one of my favorite oldies on fingerstyle guitar. It's called Rhythm of the Rain by the Cascades. And this is what it sounds like on vocals first. Listen to the rhythm of the fallen rain Telling me just what a fool I've been I wish that it would go and let me cry in vain And let me be alone again The only girl I care about has gone away Looking for a brand new start But little does she know that when she left that day Along with her, she took my heart. All right, that's the melody. Really nice, catchy, simple. Now, in order to arrange it for fingerstyle guitar, I've created a very step-by-step -step detailed method that you can follow by downloading these four free guides that I created for you. You can download them for free at my website. And I'm gonna walk you through how I use these guides so that you can apply this method and arrange any song that you like, not necessarily the song, right? Any song that you like. So let's go to our first guide, which is our fingerstyle arrangement guide, all right? So fingerstyle arrangement guide is gonna show you all the steps now, first step is step number one, which is our song foundation. So in this particular song or this arrangement that we're doing here, I'm going to arrange it in the key of G major. All right, so the chords are already on the screen. You've heard it. And the meter, it's simple. It's just going to be 4-4, four, four, right? One, two, three, four. Listen to the rhythm of the fallen rain. All right, so one, two, three, four, four, four. Simple. We've established our song foundations. Now let's go to our step number two, which is selecting our fretboard position. So we can either select it in open position or closed position, all right? So open position gives you like a fuller texture where you're using more of the open strings, while closed position gives you more control over the individual notes that you're playing because they are all fretted, all right? So for this arrangement today, I'm gonna try to do it in the closed position, all right? And this gives us more control over the articulation, more freedom in improvisation. It's easier to control the dynamics and it's easier to play in any key that you want because you can choose whichever fret. But in this case, we're just gonna stick to the key of G major. Now some of the cons will be that we have a thinner texture because we don't have these open strings ringing and we've got limited low end range because we're playing higher up the neck. But I really, really love closed position and I think you will too. All right, so we determine we're gonna arrange it in closed position, so not open position, right? We're gonna play it a little bit higher up the neck. So now we're gonna go to step number three which is selecting our scale positions. So we already determined that we're gonna be in closed position. So because we are in G major, let's just go to our scale melody guide and we're gonna to go to our uh, movable scale positions. In this case, we're gonna play the G major scale using what we call the 6-2 major scale position. All right, this one over here. All right, so what this means, 6-2, now I cover all of this material in my Fingerstyle for the World course if you want to delve deeper and fully understand it. But here I'm showing you how to apply it. Now the 6-2 major scale means that we're using the, uh, we're playing starting with the lowest root note on the sixth string playing with our second finger of the left hand. So here, like this. So this is a G note, and this is how we play the 6-2 major scale, like this. All right, that's the 6-2 G major scale position. Now, we're gonna, we've determined our scale position, but that's just a scale. We need to derive the melody from it. So let's go to our next step, which is, all right, we've selected our scale position. We need to process the melody with solfege. Now, what does this mean? This means that for every scale degree, it has a sung syllable to it. And this is gonna help us to oralize the, the scale and the melody a lot better. So instead of just, it's gonna be do, 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 re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, re, do, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Now, all those syllables you can find in the solfege musicianship guide, all right, over here. So we've got the major scale solfege syllables. So you can go find that in your scale position guide. But anyway, we're gonna go back to um, fingerstyle arrangement guide. So we've got um, step number four where we need to process the melody with solfege. So what is telling you to do here is that we need to listen to the melody and then we need to identify the notes of the song in solfege. Oops. Something happened to my pen. All right, now we're back in the pen mode. Identify each of the notes in solfege. All right, so 
how this works is that you need to develop your musicianship, right? It's not going to happen overnight. So when you're playing and you're singing the song, instead of just singing, listen to the rhythm of the fallen rain, I need you to hear this. La so so mi mi re re do re do do La so so mi mi so so La so so mi mi re re do re do do So do re do re la ti do Now, it's not just the, the melody, but we know exactly which notes are being sung. And that way, we can immediately find it with our scale position. So if we go back to the scale melody guide, right, we get our scale position, this one, the 6-2 major scale. We know that la so so is a six five five. So it's la so so mi mi re re do three three two two one mi mi re re do re do do re do do. So that melody is like this la so so mi mi re re do re do do and continuing la so so mi mi so so two three four la so so mi mi re re do re do do so do re do re la ti do and that's our whole melody right it's actually not that difficult now that we've got the melody we need to go to the next step so we've finished processing the melody with solfege. What we're going to do now is we're going to select the chord positions. All right, because we are in closed position, we're going to go mainly for the movable uh, chord shapes. So uh, it's over here, movable triad chord shapes. This, what this means is that we can take these chord shapes and move them anywhere up and down the neck. And this is really, really well suited for our closed position arrangement. So the first chord, we've got G. So instead of playing open position G like this, right, we're going to do closed position shape. So we're going to use what we call the E shape, all right? So E shape over here. And what, is, what this means is that this is the E major shape, but we're not going to just play E major. We're going to move it up the, f the neck by three frets. So from E, it goes to F, F sharp, and G. So this is our G now. Right? And for C major shape, we're gonna C major, we're gonna use the A shape and we're gonna move it up three frets. So A, A sharp, B, and C here. So these are our first two chords. Listen to the rhythm of the fallen rain. Telling me just what a fool I've been. Now for the D chord, I'm gonna use this shape, and this one is the C major shape. Alright, moved up two frets. So this is C major, one, C, C sharp, D. And this is how we get the D major chord using the C major shape. And the reason why I've selected these particular shapes is because I don't want to move up and down the neck so much. I want to stay in this position, right? It's G, C, D, D. And those are all the chords in the song. So we've got it already, right? Listen to the rhythm of the fallen rain. You're telling me just what a fool I've been I wish that it would go and let me cry in vain And let me be alone again It's such a beautiful song, right? I love it <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do We've selected our chord shapes already We're gonna go back to the fingerstyle arrangement guide We have, um, we've selected our chord positions Okay, selected, this is done, tick Now we're gonna go to the next step which is where the arrangement really comes together. We combine the melody and the harmony together. So we already know how to play the melody, right? La so so mi mi re re do re do do and we know how to play the chords. All we need to do is just hold the chord shape and then move your fingers around, right? Grab the melody note while holding as much of the chord shape as possible and play the chord and the melody at the same time. Now, if this is difficult for you, I want you to just start with playing the bass note of the chord like this. La so so mi mi re re do re do do La so so mi mi so so Notice I'm just playing the bass and the the melody and it's kind of good enough to recognize the song of course you don't want to just stay there eventually what you want to get is playing uh, more of the chord with the melody like this notice i'm playing some of the other chord tones after when i have the space to do that all right so that's it now i'm going to play the whole song for you in this arrangement like this Alright, so that's a simple arrangement, but that's not kind of what we want, right? It's kind of like bare, it's kind of basic. What we need to do is go to step number seven and where we make the arrangement uniquely ours. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna add some percussive 
effect, right? I'm going to add some embellishments to the melody. Perhaps I'm going to add some articulation, like, you know, pitch bends and vibrato and stuff like that. And it's going to make it, uh, bring it to life, bring this arrangement to life. So this is my variation or my version of Rhythm of the Rain on fingerstyle guitar. So I'm going to start out the first verse I'm kind of like slow meditatively. In fact, I'm going to play in open position. <laughs> Although I didn't cover that for this video. But I'm going to do that. And then after that, for the second verse, then I'm going to go to close position and, you know, add some percussive drive to it. And well, let's see how it goes. This is Rhythm of the Rain. So that's my simple arrangement of Rhythm of the Rain. Now, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to study in depth this method of arranging, just check out my Fingerstyle for the World course. Links are on the description below. Now, if any questions or requests, just let me know in the comments below. Have a great day and enjoy playing guitar. Take care. Bye-bye.